Today on FAQ Fridays, we're going to be discussing recommended tools to use to properly tighten and torque S5 clamps. Happy Friday everyone, my name is Curtis Ward. Today I'm back with Sean Haddock to discuss recommended tools to use when installing S5 products. And Sean, with your experience and background as an installer, I'm sure you have plenty of tips for us as well as recommend some tools that'll make everyone's job a lot easier on the job site. Yes, Curtis, I've had plenty of experience with this in the field. The goal with any S5 product is that they install easily with tools that contractors already have. The one exception to this happens to be the dial indicating torque wrench. This one is not very easy to find and because of that we make it available through distribution as well as you can purchase these directly from us on our website. So with that being said, let's get into torquing with a dial indicating torque wrench as opposed to a clicking which a lot of people try to use and I'll show you why you want to use the dial as opposed to the clicking. So you mentioned a dial indicating torque wrench as opposed to a clicking. What's the difference and why is that important? The ultimate difference is that with a dial indicating torque wrench, you can see what torque you're actually delivering to the fastener. With a clicking, it just goes ahead and clicks when it reaches that torque, which seems great. But with a metal roof, you've got two pieces of material that you're squeezing together and you're trying to push a dimple into the back of it with that set screw. So what happens is with a, with a clicking torque wrench, it'll click, but it never really, it, as soon as it clicks, it releases because you're dimpling that panel and it takes some time for it to do that. And it, it takes actually more torque to get there to a final resting torque of 115 inch pounds. Okay. Another thing about it is, is a thing called galling. And with galling, what happens is you've got a stainless fastener going into an aluminum clamp quickly with your screw gun. And what that does is it, it, it seizes it and so the clicking won't ever break it past that gall because it clicks and says you're done. Where with the dial, you can force it past that gall to see what your true tension is. So in addition to the dial indicating torque wrench, are there other tools recommended to tighten S5 clamps? Yes, I mean, you're gonna be using some of the basic tools you've got in your toolbox for the most part. Um, a lot of guys have a a clutch driven screw gun, okay. which is what this is here. It's adjustable as far as your torque setting on it. Um, in addition to that, well, one thing to point out on this is that you want to check your batteries and know that they're lithium ion batteries and that it's going to shut off when it can't continue delivering this, the spec torque. Another tool that is, is commonly used in the industry would be an impact. Um, they're lightweight but you really don't know what kind of torque you're delivering with these. So to use this tool, you're gonna to be fastening and be looking for depth as well as, as trying to count and figure out, you know, when that screw is truly tight. They're a little tougher to figure out. And finally, the easiest one to figure out, and we've done videos on this in the past, is the Panasonic tool. This tool, you can set it, it's got a number setting and you tighten down the fastener, you hold the trigger until it shuts off and you know you've achieved the proper torque. Are there any other tools or tips you'd like to share with us about installing S5 clamps? Yeah, one tool I'd really like to mention is, is an angle driver tool and this tool allows you to tighten a set screw on a low profile seam. When you've got these big bulky tools, you can't get in there often. And so by adding this in there, then you get your tool up off the flat of the pan and it makes it much simpler. I'll also show you some things now on um, tightening set screws and some other tips I've learned throughout the years of installing S5 clamps. Okay, great. One of the first things I want to demonstrate is I've got this this one inch double folded panel here, and I've got our S5E clamp and an S5E mini. This clamp is going to install 
with the lip underneath the groove here, underneath your fold. And I'm gonna bring my impact in and tighten it up. Now, what you can see here is I really can't get in there on this clamp. So I'm gonna grab the angle driver we talked about. And now I can get right in there and tighten that clamp down. Now something else I want to point out is you'll see I'm starting with this screw intentionally. And the reason for that is as it tightens, it's going to drive this end of the clamp downward. So I'm going to snug it up and then I'll go to my, my back screw and snug it up. Now I'll go ahead and tighten to where I think is about right. And then I'll go back to the first one and do the same. From here, this is where I would go ahead and check torque to see what I'm delivering. I'll turn my needle so I can see where it stops. And see, I'm pushing, I'm getting pretty good torque, but I just there broke past that gall. So now I wanna see where I'm at. And I can do that, this needle helps me do that. And it's at about 175. So I exceeded it. I exceeded the recommended torque there pretty, pretty good. Um, we'll go ahead and check the back one. Oftentimes the last screw you torqued on a two set screw fastener is gonna be tighter. There I broke past that gall at about 145. So uh, would I need to go back and loosen this one? Absolutely not. This clamp I can say is tight, two spec, and good to go. Here where I said you could do a visual inspection before, you can see that these screws are pretty close to the same spot. And like I mentioned, one of them is 175 inch pounds where the other is 145. That kind of difference you'll never tell. Well, thank you, Sean, for taking the time out of your day, as well as for that great demonstration and recommending all those helpful tools for us. Sure thing. Happy to do it. And thank you all for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful resources. And if you have a question that you want answered, comment down in the comment section below. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next Friday. How to properly torque and tighten S5 set screw. <laughs> <laughs> tighten and torque. Gonna have in his toolbox. Um, you have a clutch driven. <laughs> FAQ Fridays, we're gonna be <clears throat> Just gotta get the bloopers, right? <laughs>